The Ragnar Hill D is an aggressive frame shotgun added to the game as part of the Witch Queen expansion. So this one is an all-purpose heavy-duty shotgun. It's also craftable as well, meaning you can focus down on what you want and make it yourself. Well, today I'm going to take a closer look at the Ranger Hill D, the stats so you got rolls to chase for PvP and PvE, plus a look at how to get Ranger Hill D in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of you who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, the Ragnar Hill D is a legendary kinetic shotgun with an aggressive frame, meaning it's hard hitting and you've got high recoil, and increases the rate of fire after you get a kill. Looking at the stats, we've got an impact of 80. You've got 35 for range, 36 for stability, 37 for handling, 40 for reload speed. It's a 55 rounds per minute shotgun with 5 in the magazine. So the world loot pool at the moment is full of absolute gems. Now, first of all, we've got the funnel web, then we've got the cantata, and now the Ragnar Hill D. This one is a really decent shotgun for both PvP and PvE content. It's an aggressive frame, meaning the rate of fire is going to increase after every kill. That works really, really well with the perk combinations in PvE. Now, given it's in the world loot pool, this also means it's available for all players. And it doesn't matter if you own the Witch Queen or not. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Ragnar Hill D God Roll Guide. Four PvE, small bore, assault mag, subsistence, and demolitionist would be a decent roll. So a small bore, you get an increase to range and stability. And assault mag greatly increases stability and increases the rate of fire. Subsistence, on the other hand, gives you defeating targets, partially reloads the magazine from reserves. And with demolitionist, kills with the weapon generate grenade energy and activating your grenade ability reloads the weapon from reserves. For PvP, full choke, assault mag, perpetual motion and elemental capacitor is the one you want to go for. So full choke, reduce projectile spread while aiming down sights at the cost of precision damage. And Assault Mag, you greatly increase stability and increases the rate of fire. Perpetual Motion is almost a go-to perk for PvP these days. This weapon gains bonus stability handling a reload speed while the wielder is in motion. And Elemental Capacity, you get increased stats based on the currently equipped subclass. So that is really, really good stuff. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get the Ragnar Hill D in Destiny 2. Well, to get the shotgun, it's in the World Loot Pool, meaning you can get it from many places in the game. This one is going to drop from playlist activities like Strikes, Crucible and Gambit. Also, if you're running around on the throne world completing tasks, it'll drop for you or by doing campaign missions. Pretty much any activity in the game is going to drop world loot pool weapons, but also watch out for Banshee44 selling it. His inventory rotates each week on Tuesday and he sells world loot, so there's a really good chance he's either selling it right now or he's going to be selling it next week. Now, I do an update on the weekly reset each week in Destiny 2, so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell to never miss a Banshee 44 update. Well, Ranger Hill D is also a craftable weapon. You're going to need the weapon pattern first. But once you've got this, you better craft the weapon at the Enclave on Mars. Well, let me know what you think of the Ranger Hill D in the comments. Plus, let me know your favourite roles. Well, that is it for this guide on how to get the Ranger Hill D in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.
weapons are weakening. Let's get them. Our hold on the throne world remains firm, thanks to you. Keep up the fine work, Guardian. 